A University of Missouri law professor is suing the university, saying banning guns on campus violates state law. The lawsuit was filed Saturday, and tonight, ABC 17's Jillian Furtig talked to the attorney representing the professor in the case. Jillian? Law professor Royce de Barandas has named the board of curators and MU president Tim Wolf in the lawsuit. And his attorney Jennifer Bukowski says an amendment to the state constitution passed last November protects the professor's right to conceal and carry. We just recently amended it with Amendment 5 last year where we explicitly state that these rights are unalienable and subject to strict scrutiny. In a 20-page document, law professor Royce de Barandas says the university president, as well as the board of curators, are violating his constitutional right to keep and bear arms. So we're hoping that Attorney General Chris Coster intervenes on our behalf, on the behalf of the professor, in protecting his rights. Attorney Jennifer Bukowski says this is the first case of this type she has ever had, but says it's an important one. I think there's a very interesting illustration recently here in Columbia of the need for individuals to be able to decide how to protect themselves, and that would be the case of Mark Adair. Mark Adair was shot and killed by police in this parking garage on campus back in April after pointing a gun at officers. Police were searching for Adair after he attacked three different women in other locations earlier in the day. What was not reported at the time, and which I found out from the source and confirmed through a sunshine request, was that the woman that he hid in her car at the parking lot at Moser's grocery store and attacked, she was able to get away by pulling out her handgun out of her purse. And had she not done that, she would might not have been able to get away to live to report his whereabouts to authorities. So they might not have been able to track him down in time to save those girls in the parking garage at the university. Bukowski says this is where she believes a person should have a choice. The women in the university garage, if they did have a weapon on them, which we don't know, but if they did, they would be in violation of the university's rules. And if they were employees of the university, like my client, they'd have to only carry those weapons while being in fear of losing their jobs. The university has 30 days to respond to the lawsuit, which it has not yet. I reached out to the university for a comment, but my call has not been returned yet. All right, Jillian, thank you.